all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your general love reading okay so let's take a look and see what is going on with you and this person One more shuffle here. what is going on with you and this person Ooh, we have the card of metamorphosis i don't look at all this blue energy unawakened and we have admired Okay. Okay. Oh, I love this. And at the bottom of the deck is the healing energy. So I feel like since you've met this person, there has been this kind of progression of spiritual evolution, right? Like maybe you met this person, you were unawakened, they were unawakened, or in some aspect you weren't seeing things from a higher perspective. And over time, I feel like you've grown, they've grown, there's been some healing. I feel like you guys are both admiring each other and maybe seeing each other in a different light. Okay? Like maybe in the past one like maybe in the past someone couldn't actually see the other person. Like sometimes when we're in the dark or we're not awakened, we can't see the beauty that another person has, whether it be physically or whether it be um within their soul. So I feel like someone is kind of or both of you have sort of woke up to each other's positive traits here. Okay. We got the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, a lot of reversals here, and the Hanged Man. So this connection is currently on pause. Um, I get the sense that both you and this person have a strong emotional attachment to one another here, and neither of you are able to move on. That's been a common theme, I think, over the past week with these tarot readings, is like, no one is really able to let each other go or move on from each other. Often that means that there are still soul lessons to be learned within that connection. If you have a hard time letting go of someone, it's because the lesson hasn't been learned. Um, I feel like there's still some evolving that needs to occur in this connection. You guys are both as, as attached as you are to them, they are as to you. But I feel like this isn't moving forward why is the hangman here you're on pause with this yeah see like i said it's not moving forward knight of pentacles in reverse why is there no movement here spirit why is there no movement in this connection okay because it ended painfully ten of swords so this is something that ended in the past with you and this person it could have been a painful ending is what i'm seeing here but it seems like it did firmly end and since then it hasn't moved forward now you guys are wanting to communicate with each other because you haven't moved on from one another i think you guys have both grown since this, there's been some healing that has taken place since possibly a painful ending, and you're now wanting to communicate and have a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So how does this person feel about you? What is their energy? What is this person's energy towards you right now? The King of Wands in reverse could be a Gemini. Uh, sorry, not Gemini. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Six of Cups in reverse. We got the Hierophant in reverse. We have Taurus energy here as well. Okay, what is your energy towards them? What is your energy towards this person? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. How many reversals in the world in reverse? Okay, connecting the two of you currently is the Six. Oh, see, that's the problem, guys. That is the problem. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. Too much pride here. Too much pride. That's the problem. So your person over here is holding on to the bitter memories of the past. They're still holding on to like what happened and this is causing them to want to control the situation or want to be in control. Okay, what's funny about this is actually both of you are very non-committal towards each other. And I think the reason why is because of ego. It's like your your ego and your pride has taken over. Um you're also not being honest with them about something here, which I'm going to find out what that is. But you're you're feeling like there's unfinished business between the two of you. Like, you feel like it's not... You haven't had closure from this person. Um, and your person is holding on to memories of you, but I feel like they're kind of bitter about it. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed? What are you not being honest about? The Four of Cups in reverse, this missed opportunity. Oh, I know. Okay, so, I know. 
Um, okay, so what you're not being honest about is that you feel like this isn't done. So you may be acting like, okay, I'm done with them. Like you may be giving off the impression that you're not necessarily, I'm just trying to move this over. You may be giving them the impression that you don't necessarily want them back, but that's what you're lying about because the truth is that you actually haven't had closure from them. The truth is that you actually want to open up communication again. And you don't really want a missed opportunity here. But the problem is, for both of you, it's actually connecting the two of you, is that you guys are both letting your pride get in the way of this situation. Okay, yeah, look at this fulfillment card. Both of you really do desire each other. There's a sense of, like, both of you feel very fulfilled when you're in each other's presence. Kind of reminds me of the Nine of Cups. But self-worth is the challenge here. Okay, it's like, I want you, but I am still struggling with myself. I'm still learning how to love myself. I'm still learning how to feel good about myself. That could be why the energy here is the healing card. And see, look at this. I love this. Under the healing, look what is there. Awakening. But see, there's still the unawakened. So I feel like that's what's happening. It's like there's this process of spiritual growth happening, but you're still in the process of it, if that makes sense. Yeah. There's some distance between the two of you with this three of wands energy. Okay. Um, yeah, there's healing that's taking place. I feel like the longer the two of you are apart, the more chance you have to heal from the situation. Um, but there is a divine connection here. There is a soul connection. We do have the two of cups wanting to show itself. <clears throat> Oh, wow. We've got the throat chakra. I was feeling that here with all that blue energy. So, um, what are your person's intentions with you? This person on your mind, what are their intentions? What are their intentions with you? See, we have the lovers. Literally the card of love. So this person does have pure intentions. They do want something with you. But they're, hold they're being a little bit, like, petty about the past, I feel. But ultimately, their intention is to share this connection with you we literally have the lovers and the two of cups as the last cards that have come out so like i said i feel like there is a strong um soul connection that both of you feel right and you know like i was saying here um sometimes when you feel like you can't move on from someone it's because there's a lesson that has to be learned there is some sort of divine um reason for the two of you meeting and a reason why maybe you can't stop uh, thinking about this person. Because I'm seeing the contemplation card here. I feel like you guys are both in each other's head. Okay. So their intention is to love you. Really. Like, that's kind of cute. Their intention is to love you. But they feel helpless and hopeless right now about this situation. Why is this? They're in their head too much about it. Like, they're, they're overthinking it here, guys. Okay, this is because this is part of their process. This is something that they have to overcome. Their own negative belief systems. This is part of their awakening and their healing. This is the lesson that they're learning is how to get out of their negative mindset and just experience the love without all the pride and the ego. They overthink it. Like they get too in their head about the situation. They overthink things. They make things far worse than they are. What are your intentions here? What are your intentions? Okay, getting fed up with waiting. We have the waiting results in reverse, which is the seven of pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys are tired of waiting. We have the solar plexus in reverse. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Solar plexus in reverse. What are your intentions? We've got Yeah, there's something. Okay, guys. We literally have two cards here. And look at this bottom of the deck is the six of swords reversed again. Okay, so... Here's the thing, your energy, your intentions, we have two cards related to waiting and stagnation. I almost feel like some of you are wondering whether or not you can keep waiting for this person. I think if, if you continue to wait for this person, it's going to like almost affect your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself. I think that this connection has taken a toll on your confidence. Because, like, okay, intentions awaiting results. In reverse, it's like you're not waiting. So some of you are are considering no longer waiting for this person. But the thing is, is that you have not had a sense of closure, I feel. You have not had closure from this person. <clears throat> so that could be why you're struggling to move on. So your mind may be telling you, 
you know what, I can't wait for this person any longer. But then your heart is like, just hold on. Okay, let's get a mixed emotion for this person. How are they feeling about you? What are they feeling? Oh, they're missing you guys. They're longing for you. Yeah. So there's been distance and this person's been longing. They may be looking at old messages, um, old photos. This person is longing for you. I mean, their intentions are to love you. So I right, like, come on, that's cute. But the energy that they're in is a little bit off because like they're in the King of Wands reverse and the Six of Cups reverse. So they're, the Six of Cups is also a card of missing someone, but you're also thinking about like the bad memories. And I think that's why they get in their head. <clears throat> How are you feeling about them? You're worried. I think you guys are worried about how long this is taking but let me clarify and see why is worried here the queen oh so you guys are worried about this person meeting someone else it's almost like okay well if they like if the longer this goes on like the longer there's distance i think you guys are starting to get worried that they're going to meet someone else yeah see what did i say exactly you're getting worried that so one of two things either you're worried that they're going to meet someone else because there's been so much space between the two of you, or if they're already with someone else, you're worried about that situation. Like you're worried about there being another person and what's going on. Like you may be in your head about that situation, kind of having doubts. So what do they want to tell you? What does this person want to tell you? Silence is killing me. Oh my gosh, guys. Seriously, this person is really, really longing for you. So yeah, you clearly have not been speaking to this person. It's been a while. They want to follow their heart. I think their mind's getting in the way, but they want to follow their heart. Everything I do, I do for our future. This person sees a future with you. Okay, this person is envisioning a future with you. And yeah, they're saying to you, I don't want to lose you. So some of them may feel like they already have, or they're going to if they don't kind of kick things into gear. What is their most likely action towards you in the near future? What is this person's most likely action towards you in the near future? Oh my god. <laughs> See what I'm saying, guys? This person is overthinking this situation so much. We've got the Eight of Swords. We've got the Nine of Swords. What are they overthinking? Like, what is this concern? They're going back and forth in their mind. Um... If you know that they're juggling someone else, if you know that they have to make a decision between you and someone else, that's what they're stressed about, okay, for those of you who have that. See, the Six of Swords reverse keeps wanting to come through. They cannot move on from you. This is what's stressing them out. I feel like this person is like, oh my God, I cannot live in this uncertainty every day. I cannot be up and down in my head every day about this person, but they cannot, they cannot seem to... Like, this silence is really bothering this person. It's stressing them out. And I feel like there has been distance. You haven't been speaking to this person. What's stressing them out is that they have not been able to move on from you. And it's making them question, like, maybe they made a mistake here in the past. But the problem is this is their action. This is their most likely action. It's just being in their head overthinking the situation. Maybe that's why you guys are like, how long am I going to wait for this person? Okay, let's see if we can get some divine guidance for you. So, from spirit. What is your divine guidance at this time? Ooh, we have the card of brilliant beliefs, luminous life force, personal power. Which is actually interesting because you guys had the card of the solar plexus in reverse, which is the card of power, but in reverse, meaning that there's a, lo a loss of power. I think this connection has caused you to um, lose yourself a little bit here, okay? Um, let's see. Number 45. So few people are taught to believe the truth about themselves. They believe that they are not enough, not deserving, or not capable of making their dreams come true. But these conclusions project a dark energy that brings unhappiness and blocks goals and desires from manifesting. This card is asking you to embrace your luminosity and remember your oneness with Source. It is this oneness that forges your truth and helps you heal your old hurts and misinformed beliefs. Even if lies about your lack of power and value have been with you for a long time, it's never too late to awaken to your truth and let yourself shine. This is a time of renewed energy for you, and the snow leopards are signaling you that you have the personal power to overcome your inner demons. 
So, yeah, I think that, and this is what I was saying before, because we had the self-worth card, and we also had the solar plexus in reverse, so I think that this connection, because of whatever has happened, has taken a toll on your confidence and your worthiness, and this is something that you're learning to get back. So this is what Spirit wants you to focus on, is feeling worthy of having what you want in life and having the type of love that you deserve, because once you do that, that's when everything starts to transform. Okay, but that's what I have for you. Um, I also feel like once that happens too, that's when the communication is going to come in. Because right when I said that, I picked up the deck and we have the page of wands. Um, but that's what I have for you guys. 